Okay. He's seeing more feet than Dan Snyder. Crazy. Crazy bar. Crazy bar. Shout out Ariana Grande. Um, it's Wayne's World. And today we're doing Q&A. Um, going to ask some personal questions. Some creative questions. Some music questions. Personal questions. You know, all that. You know, so stay tuned. I think it's going to be actually a pretty cool video. Okay, so boom. I'm not going to come up there and show you all. But, um, I did. I did put out a little, you know, little questions on the IG. That's the best way to do it. We're going to start off with, uh, it is a q and I'm just basically telling you why. I am Wayne's World. I am six foot flat. Um, like 180 pounds. I haven't checked in a minute. Uh, I make lifestyle and fashion content across a bunch of platforms. And that sounds about it. You know what I'm saying? That That's about it. School, I do that. I go to church. And I do those things. Too. Let me just, let me answer some of the questions before it's like, you know what I'm saying? First question. What made you get into fashion? That's actually a great question. Um... I feel like I've always been into fashion, in a way. Like, I've always kind of cared how I looked when I was a little kid. Kind of cared, because you don't really care when you're a little kid. But, kind of did. I feel like it started with maybe Azak Rocky and Pharrell. I am watching like, watching, like, their music videos and, like, seeing pictures of, like, their outfits and stuff. Definitely inspired me, in a way, to get fly. Those are some fly cops. Those are, like... First people I really noticed, like, hey, they got a really cool Scott. Along with Tyler, the creator, I'll say him too. And then I was watching a lot of fashion YouTubers, like The Life, the life of Cash K. He's a big one. That's, that's definitely, like, who I would say kind of introduced me to the fashion world. You know, runway shows, Raph, Rake, Margiela, Miss Margiela, Miss Mariah, Junior Watanabe. That's another designer I like that I started watching, like their runway shows. Oh, and that's what got me into fashion, watching fashion, just a whole bunch of fashion content. And yeah, I got caught up in the world of fashion. That's how I got into fashion. Crazy to be starting off the video off for just the second one. Did we not be going in with the hard hitters first? What's the biggest goal you've achieved so far? You know what I'm saying? I'm 16. It's not that many. There's not too many crazy things that I've did, but it's, it's, it's like some stuff I'm proud of, of course. Um, I will say Black Belt and Taekwondo is one of the, the cards about a discipline. There was like only two times where I wanted to quit, and I still was like, nah, I'm gonna get that. Black Belt and Taekwondo is definitely one of them. Um, actually, like, how do I say this? Like, creating clothes, like, not just being a part of, like, you know, the fashion MS, like, you know, those people, like, I actually make clothes, I actually know how clothes are put together and stuff like that. It, it's way more in depth than it is to just being fashion MF. One of the goals I would like to just really learn how clothes are made and I, I got an idea. Moving to a weekly, a weekly uploading schedule. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. I was posting like every three weeks and I was supposed to be posting every two weeks, which was worse. So I was like the transition from three weeks to one week I've been uploading, I've been doing my thing, I've been cooking. Um, I am gonna try and get a vlog. Like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna try, I'm gonna keep doing the vlog, but like the fashion content in between is what I've been trying to add. That's what I've been wanting to do. I'm happy I started doing it. Cause it's definitely something I'm passionate about. Fashion, like doing fashion, actually being involved in the community a lot more. That's, that's what I want to be at. I said the goal for basketball was averaging a double double. I don't think I do. I think I'm like I think like scoring. I probably like have a bunch of games where I score like eight points. I think I could. I think I could. I haven't really did the math with it. I, I think I could be averaging a double double. I could not. I definitely get ten rebounds every game. That's not the question. Can't lie. And with the yeah, I said the YouTube, the Taekwondo, fashion, open. You know, those are all some goals that I've achieved so far in the 16-year-old life. Yeah. 
and probably a long ski. That was a good last question. I can't lie. But this is also a good one. Um, what made you want to start your own clothing brand? So like, my thing is right now, I don't know if y'all seen the meme of like being a clothing brand owner now is like trying to be a SoundCloud rapper in 2016. And it feels like that, like it really feels like I'm trying to be something everybody's trying to be. But I've been wanting to do this. Like, I've been wanting to do this. I've been making my custom clothes. I've been painting jeans for years now. I've been cutting up t-shirts and putting bleach on them and dyeing them. And a whole bunch of stuff I've been doing for years. And I've been, you know, trying to figure out how to like make clothes look cool. How to make clothes for me. How to make clothes for other people. Things like that. So it's like a little overwhelming when you see everybody, everybody, I mean everybody trying to start a clothing brand. It's like you genuinely been wanting this for a long time. And people starting younger than me doing it is like, oh, or people my age doing it and making it work. But it's like, they don't have the same passion as me. They ain't moving how I move. So when I do it, I want it to be done the right way if there is a right way to do it for real, I want to do it the right way. All the funding going to all the right places, all the time being spent, proper time spent in it. Like, I don't want to just BS it, put out, put out just, just put some out. Like, but then again, that's that perfectionist mindset, which helps me sometimes, but isn't the best. But like right now, brand is kind of on the back burner. Everything else, I just want to be a part of the fashion community and create for create for them, and then it'll go from there. That's that's where I want to go with that. But what made me want to start the brand? Let me answer the question for real. Um, I've always loved clothes. I painted shoes, painted jeans. I think I did a lot of painting when I was a kid, so like it just transitioned to putting it on clothes. Then I started. Hot pressing stuff on the t-shirts and jeans and hoodies and stuff. Making my, designing my stuff on the computer, like learning how to graphic design stuff. I definitely like gotten better. Even though I'm just so tied really with it. I really ain't learned nothing from nobody, but it's just videos on the internet. <laughs> but that's when I want to start. My love for art and then all of the clothes combined it to really make that clothing brand work. Next question. Who's your favorite fashion inspiration? Am I number one? I gotta put Pharrell. Cause I've been doing it for so long and it's like, he's creative director for, for, for Louis, Louis Vuitton and he was just with Ego cooking up some babies. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's been doing this a long time. Bro was 50, he looks 30. And he's out here making clothes, designing clothes that looks cool. Some people really hate the little like camo Minecraft suit thing. I think it's interesting. It's definitely a cool take. I like Minecraft. It's not that crazy. It's not that hard to like, to not like. Yeah, Pharrell, Pharrell after that, we go into like celebrity wise. We go, is that Rocky? We go Tyler. Two different like forms of streetwear, but like, you know what I'm saying? I switch it up sometimes. So it's pretty weird, my list. After that, I really like Forrest River 10. I feel like I'm gonna put y'all on. Forrest River 10, Ben doing the baggy jeans and Tim's thing, bro. He's the ultimate put on for that one. I feel like before y'all, he gets before y'all. He was doing the baggy jeans and Tim's. I promise you. <laughs> ben has seen his fit picks. He's really, he, he, he really good at it. He really good at what he do. I like his style. I really do. I feel like I'm missing people for real. Like, I feel like I'm blanking out. Like I, I don't remember everybody for real. The Life is Cascade. That's one of the guys who introduced me to fashion for real. And I've seen his style grow and change. And it's pretty cool to see that. Wisdom, bro, wisdom. He's so tough. Like, wisdom, who doesn't like wisdom? <laughs> How tall are you? I am six foot. 
Said that be in the video for a reason. I already knew I was gonna get that. The how tall are you, Coach? Six foot flat. I know. This is weak. You never been a six foot flat person ever. You're like, oh okay. shit. My favorite music genre. My favorite music genre is rap. Like, <laughs> it's rap. It's rap and then there's a whole bunch of subject. You got plug and B, you got plug, you got rage, you got trap, trap rage, you got that emo shit. A whole bunch of subgenres, bro. You got the, the melodic stuff. I like all those subgenres. But right now, I've been kind of into like alternative hip hop. Yeah, alternative stuff. Alternative hip hop, definitely something I like. You know, that alternative sound and hip hop. It is definitely cool. I also like some, I like a lot of R&B. Cause it's, it has the same traits of, you know, rap. Hmm. Screw, screw the like anything DJ screw. I mess with screw music. If you know me, you might catch me bumping some screw. That's definitely up there for me. The screw, screw, the chopper screw. Anything chopper screw, I'm gonna be bumping it. Uh, I like Detroit rap. That's also one of the subgenres I miss it a lot. Detroit rap or eight mile rap, seven mile rap, whatever you want to call it. I just I just call it Detroit rap. Yeah. I'd say that that covers the music genre question. I like a lot of different types of rap and alternative music. Like, when I say alternative, like Tim and Paul, the, they're alternative. My favorite singer is The Weeknd. It's hard to hate The Weeknd. I love The Weeknd. Can't lie. Next question. Do you have a specific style? And if you do, what would it be? Okay. Right now, some people would say I have that opium style, but that's only something. I can't be opium. It doesn't work. Can't do it. Can't do it. I live in Texas. Can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> um. So like, what I'm wearing right now, pretty chill. Racer tee with the shorts. Pretty chill. Um. I would say skater mixed with a little bit of opium, mixed with a little bit of. Sometimes some preppy stuff because I wear a lot of polos, I wear a lot of vests and stuff. Sometimes sweaters. I'll say a little prep in there. I just like to mix it up you know, with the streetwear. I just I just cook a little bit and yeah, see what happens. Really, that's just what happens, bro. I just walk in my closet and cook. And cook. Straight up to cook. That's all. So, personal style is kind of... Mm, isn't it? Non-existent. <laughs> I only really have one style I stick to consistently every single day. I just think that I change a lot as a person. Even next month, I might have something new that I'm doing. So, I don't think... So, but the personal style right now is very streetwear mixed with... Whatever, whatever I, I like at the moment. <laughs> to keep an ache. I feel like you guys know more about me, and I know more about me, and we all know more. Uh, I think I want to do another one of these. Maybe get closer to the end of the year. See how much of questions change. Maybe you guys answer the same questions, or like do get some brand new ones from you guys. I think those would be pretty cool. Um, to do one at the end of the year because this is the beginning of the year. I'll be 17 by then. That's kind of crazy. 17 is a, that's a real official number. <laughs> that's a big boy. That's a big number. I was saying 16 was one, but 17, that's a crazy number again. Getting to be old as hell. <laughs> old. Thank you for watching. For even caring. For even spending the time out of your day to watch this video. Getting to know me. Thank you. Ooh, like and subscribe. Um, I have to say those things, all right? Gotta say those things. Like and subscribe. Um, what else? What else people said in the video? Guys, thank you. Like, subscribe. Look at my other videos. They're they're cool. I've been doing a lot more now. I've been posting a lot more. And I got vlogs. And I got fashion content. And we got a whole bunch of cool stuff like that. Like, I do a lot of cool stuff all the time. That's why I vlog. So go watch a vlog. Go watch one of them fashion videos I just made. And uh, it's my world. I'm out.